Hello, everybody. Welcome to a Friday recorded edition of Good Morning God. And we are going to be talking about Jesus Christ in our scripture today. And so I thought we'd sing about him as well. Jesus, name above all names, beautiful Savior, glorious Lord, Emmanuel, God is with us, blessed Redeemer, living Word. The scripture today is from Colossians, and uh, let me bring that up for you. Colossians 2, 6 through 15. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the ele elemental spiritual forces of this world, rather than on Christ. For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. And in Christ, you have been brought to fullness. He is the head over every power and authority. In him, you were also circumcised with a circumcision not performed by human hands. Your whole self ruled by the flesh, was put off when you were circumcised by Christ. Having been buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through your faith and the working of God who raised him from the dead. When you were dead in your sins and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Wow, what a powerful message to us. What a powerful reminder of who Jesus Christ is and what he has done for us. And a warning. And a warning also that we not be deceived, that we, not, that we don't be taken captive with hollow philosophy, deceptive philosophy, things that rely on human tradition and human reason rather than Christ Jesus. Christ, who is the fullness of the deity living in bodily form. And we, we can partake of Jesus Christ and his righteousness if only we believe what he did for us on the cross. We were dead in our sins, and yet Jesus has made us alive in him through his death and resurrection. When the, when the scripture says, your whole self ruled by the flesh, that, that text in, in this context means our sinful, human nature and that was cut off that was cut off from us it was circumcised from us in Christ Jesus when we were buried with him in our baptism and raised with him through our faith this is a great message this is a message of hope this is a message of truth do not let the world deceive you let's pray Good morning, God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the sacrifice that, that Jesus made for us. We thank you that we can cast off our sinful nature because of what Christ did for us on the cross and through his resurrection. Help us to stay the course Help us to, to not get distracted by, by any other fad of spiritualism. Let us remain true to your word and to our faith in Jesus Christ. We thank you for these things in his precious name. Amen.
And now, beloved, go with God, because God is certainly going with you, and have a blessed day.